Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care. Half a day, I'm Clara Calvo bringing you your weekly renewal. Well, it is officially the holiday season. So happy holidays, or as I like to say, happy holy days. Over the years, we have focused on weekly renewal, primarily on physical health and wellness, mental, emotional health and wellness. And a few times we've had religious and spiritual practitioners come on to speak about spiritual health and wellness. Well, today, that is exactly what we're gonna talk about. Although I am a lay person, I will speak a little bit on bereavement and with November being National Hospice and Family Caregiving Month. We will also talk about that. As far back as I can remember, I've always felt spiritually connected. From my formative years as a child, growing up and going to Catholic schools from kindergarten all the way to college, with USF being a Jesuit university. So in the formal and more fundamental aspects of theology, yes. But what I came to realize was that the hardest times in life when faced with challenges were the times I was on my knees in fervent prayer, was when my faith was dramatically strengthened and spirituality greatly evolved. Which brings me to probably one of the most painful experiences for me, which was watching the slow decline of a parent with Alzheimer's and the ultimate final long goodbye during hospice. November happens to be National Family Caregivers Month, and we recently gathered together at St. Anthony's Church for a celebration of life service for caregivers and family members of those in hospice, both present and past. We were reminded of the power of prayer, the peace found in stillness, in deep breathing, in gentle touch and hugs, and in simple presence, just being there. Hospice care provides comprehensive support, emotional, medical, and spiritual, not only for the patient, but also for the families. The importance of extending the love and care we provide to our loved ones back to ourselves as well. My family was blessed to have an amazing hospice team guide us through the final days of our father, our patriarch, here with us. We are ever grateful for each and all of the staff, from social workers to the nurses, to the hospice doctor. I was pleasantly surprised to have faith-based counseling. And this is where the importance of spiritual guidance, faith, and prayer come in. I could not imagine going through that level of bereavement without a foundation of faith and spirituality. National Hospice and Family Caregivers Month is a time to show appreciation, spread awareness, and provide support to those who are on the front lines of compassionate care. It serves as a reminder of the power of love, dignity, and kindness during life's most challenging moments. Caregiving is not for the faint of heart. I like to say it is for the strength of heart. Like all other muscles in the body that build strength through working out, our hearts, also a muscle, build strength through the process of working in, compassionate work. The strength of compassion, of patience, care, empathy, and of course, love. Sitting with the dying is an experience like no other. And I've had the opportunity to meet and learn from those who have made this their profession. Spiritual wellness is not about being unmoved or untouched by sadness or grief. Instead, it is about finding some light in the darkest moments and actively finding comfort amidst the grief. Whether a friend to talk to or walk with or going on a swim, or journaling, painting, whatever might bring healthy comfort. There is a necessary balance in caring for another and caring for ourselves, an awareness to care and love from the overflow so not to tap out. Sometimes feelings of guilt or other low frequency feelings may come up for us to observe and maybe ask, why do I feel this way? What is this feeling trying to show me or teach me? How might I release this feeling or maybe find a better feeling? In witnessing the process of dying, true treasures of life are revealed. The importance of loved ones, family and friends, the significance of human touch, our senses of sound, touch, sight, the feeling of oneness. In my own experience, the comfort found in prayer and in faith, the re repetition of the rosary and singing and music, 
So as we celebrate this holiday season, may we also remember to celebrate the sanctity of life and the sanctity of death. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time on your weekly renewal. Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care.